to get my things. My mother has gone through and thrown out what she wanted to throw out. And I called the sheriff's department again and said, I need help. She's throwing my stuff out into the street. And then I have Officer Ramirez telling me that it's a civil matter and there's nothing he can do about it. So when you left there, where did you go from that point? Because that was on the 25th, right? Uh, it was at night. I where mean, I, I went to a Walmart parking lot. I had no, no one else to like land on. I was in a marriage where I wasn't allowed to have friends or segregated from everybody. But so I went there and I went to um, the county to see if I could get some kind of emergency assistance. And um, okay. I got a housing voucher paperwork um, they gave me a slip to go look at houses and see if I could find something, but that's, didn't, nothing was available. And so I slept in Walmart um, parking lot. Okay, so, because I, I was a little confused at first with the, uh, like, when, when you went to the motel and mm -hmm. when you left via Casitas residence. So, and that's why this is going to sound like it's jumping around a little bit. So, well, let's get back to your, your arrest, mm -hmm. okay? Um, when they contacted you, you said they immediately started checking your pulse and doing all that mm -hmm. stuff. Did they, did they talk to you at all, saying, hey, did you want to kill yourself? Were you at the school, anything like that? Yeah. They asked me if I um, had a gun. They said, where's my 38? And I said, 30? I don't have a 38. And then um, I said, I have a 9 millimeter, and it's in a safe in the back of my car. And I go, but no, I'm not going to shoot anybody or... I go, who said that? Or where did you get that from? And they didn't say anything at first. And then I said, well, how did you come to this conclusion? Or how are you here? Did I didn't, I didn't go threaten anybody or uh, I don't understand. And then they said, well, we got a call saying, I go, so you got a call. And now you're saying that I'm, it's true? Or is it now unfounded? And he says, well, we're doing that investigation right now. I said. Okay, so I just sat there and waited, and then I complied, and then I was being arrested. Okay. Um, during the process, you said you were searched? Yes. Okay. Do you remember the deputies that searched you and how that came about? Like, how did that happen? Yeah, they were um, putting me in the cop car. I was already handcuffed, and they checked me um, in my pants and under my bra to see if I had any illegal weapons or drugs. Okay. And I stated I did not consent, but I'm not resisting as well. Right. Well, incident to arrest, deputies are able to do a cursory search for weapons before but placing the arrestee I, in the car. But for a female, they, it's, I don't consent to a male searching in my pants. Well, that's... We don't... Well, we don't I, I wasn't a threat. I wasn't no, resisting. Hold on a and I was already I, in I cuffs. Okay. And I could okay. wait for hold a female. On. Hold on. Does it matter if you're male or female? If there are no females available on our shift, we can search you. Would you let your daughter be searched by male in her pants? If she's doing, what was I doing? any type of a crime? What crime was I committing? Okay, it doesn't matter. It if does you matter. Were arrested it at the does time, matter. Listen, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to sit here and argue with you. I'm trying to conduct an interview, and, and I'm, I'm trying to tell you what our policies are. Don't justify are. him putting his hand I'm in my trying, pants. Listen, I'm trying to. I'm trying to let you know what our policies are. That's all. Okay. I'm not trying to take sides. All I'm saying is that if you are arrested, if you, whether you're a male or a female, if we have no females available on the shift, a male deputy can and will search you prior to placing you in the back of a patrol car. That's all I'm telling you, okay? Mm -hmm, I hear you. Okay. <clears throat> Did the deputy say anything prior to the search? No. He just said, he, searched, he asked me if I had any weapons or drugs. I said no. Did they search you prior to that? No. Okay. And you, you said you do own a gun, and where, where was the gun at the time? In the safe in my car. Was the safe locked? Of course. How did they get into the safe? They had my car keys. My car keys had the key. And how did, uh, 
So when you left the house, you said, did you place the safes in, in your car, correct? Yes. Okay. In so that's how they got in there. Mm -hmm. And you said it wasn't a locked container. Mm -hmm. So at the time of your arrest, or before your arrest, would you know when they searched your car? Uh, after they did my uh, count to 30 check, or when they checked my pulse, they went and checked my car. Did they tell you at the time um, that you were arrested, and then they searched your car? No. Or they went. They, they were investigating. talked to you mm -hmm. and then searched your car? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did they ask you for permission to search your car? No. Do you know exactly what was found inside your car? Yeah, they went through all my stuff. Um, okay. Was there anything illegal found inside the car? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I thought you were allowed to, I have a weed pipe in there, yes. And uh, it hadn't been used in a, maybe over a year, but it was in a safe, another safe, the safe that had my jewelry and everything else inside it, not the gun safe. And they opened that one as well. Because okay. they had the keys that were on my keychain for my car. Were you interviewed about the gun? No. They just came out holding it by the tip of the barrel and saying, arrested for felony firearms possession. Officer Ramirez did that. And Officer Vaughn. Okay. Was it felony firearms possession or? Yes, that's what they turned out to under the influence? For. Fire, felony firearms possession under the influence is what I was charged with. Okay. But when I got to jail, the charges didn't state that, so I was confused. What felony well, act did actually, I commit? It's actually you're under the influence while in possession of a firearm. That's I was told charge. felony firearms possession under the influence. <clears throat> okay. Where's the reasonable doubt with under the influence? Uh, I'm not the judge and jury here. Well, the judge okay. already dismissed it. I don't yeah, understand. I understand that. That's why, that's why we're conducting this interview right but now. But can't you only be Listen, arrested please, for a felony? Please, do, no. No, you don't. No. Really? A <laughs> yeah, felony really. act? You can only be uh, caught by or uh, no, no, detained no. by can, an officer for a felony can, act? No, that's not true. Oh, that it's is not? not true. No, ma'am. Okay, okay. No, ma'am. Okay, I'll hear you. I disagree, no. though. The thing is, you're you're being very... I was not exhibiting with any me right now. signs of anything. All I'm doing is conducting your interview. A phone call came okay. in and I was arrested. I'm conducting your interview. Lies. Okay. So, you said you you were not interviewed about the gun, correct? No, like questioned about it? Where did I get it or what? What do you mean yeah. interviewed? Yeah, they did talk to you in an interview about a gun. No, they just they held it up They did talk to you in an interview me. about your arrest. Who? The deputies. No, they just told me what I was being arrested for. And then to com confess to being... So they never conducted an interview with you afterwards? Um, when they were trying to read me my Miranda rights, when I was already in orange. Okay. And the whole way to the, or the West Valley, they were trying to tell me to confess for my best interest. They were trying to help me out. Okay. Okay, in the complaint you said that your uh, your children were kidnapped. Yeah. When when did that occur? And who when he, when Officer Julian decided to uh, take them out of my custody without a judge's order. On his own uh, consciousness or whatever he thought was was, he took them out of my, my he on his own will took my son out of school, and said he removed them out of my custody and put them in the custody of Ben Hansen, who gave him the authority to do that. And if he is. If he was a wise man, he would have then checked the background on the person he's giving the custody to and found out that he was arrested for hitting a child only 19 days prior. And that happened, you said, on the 25th? Uh-huh, yes. Right. And he was, and it was just Jacob, you said, that was uh, kidnapped by the deputy gang. Yes, because I had my six other ones with their father. He couldn't get a hold of them. Okay. But he wanted the phone number, and then he went to the school and talked to my son, and then he had my son call me, 